Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, received word that the dragon has been spotted in the area. After months of searching for it, I've already slain several dragons, but apparently not the one that they've been looking for. I know it looks bad. We've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Alright, so we think we've got the dragon cornered this time? Let's see what we can do. Dragons are definitely back. I've already fought several. And some strange thing happened when I did. So I'm here looking for answers. What? Someone said, here he comes. Somebody We're... There. I'm getting out of here. Fall to me, dragon. Some yeah. do something. Come on. Stendar's flames. I summon you. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Dragonborn. Huh. That might explain a lot of what's been going on. Tell me, what do you know of the Dragonborn? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. Hmm. That's what's That's happening. That's what you did, isn't it? Yes. Absorb the dragon's power. I did. I think you may be right. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn. <laughs> the power of old. <laughs> that is That's right. So it is That's true. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them, like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. That was the there hairiest any fight I've ever there, been in. Idiot. And They're I've been just in coming back now for the first time in forever. I don't know about this dragonborn but business, but I'm dragon sure glad born. you're with us. You better get back to White Man right away. Jarl Bagra will want to know hmm. what happened here. Is there something else here I'm supposed to take? Not taking these dragon bones and scales, they're so heavy. But all right, 
Let me get back to White Run and speak with the Jarl. Finally here. Yes, I need the to speak with the Jarl. Jarl. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Hmm. Well, the Watchtower was destroyed, but we did kill the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. When the dragon died, and I've killed several previous to this one, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Hmm. The Greybeards. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. And what do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Well, what I nonsense. did hear the Why, thundering you voice. Up ignorant. Was These days are ago, sacred though, traditions to go when back I was to at the Fort founding Dongar. of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be... You've done All a great roof. service for me and my city, yes. Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. What? It's the I thank you. It's the honor that's within my power to grant. It's an honor. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? No, we wouldn't. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, so it angry, revealed something in it. you, and the Father Greybeards heard it. If now, they think it? you're Dragonborn, who are we you to argue? Patient. Hmm. You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. Right there is Father no Father. refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a what tremendous you honor. You're a spoiled baby. All right. I, I, and I hear you what you right. say. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? I didn't. High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very... Disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. <laughs> they haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. One Back of the to new business, Proventus. Remember we that still I have like a city to defend. Oh, really, girl? Father yes, says my... I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. Well, good luck with that. Okay. Need something? You must be Lydia. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. All right. All right, then. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Are you following me, or...? I'm not sure if you're coming with me or not. Long life to you, Thane. All right. Stay here. <laughs> I have some business to attend to. Hunting? On Hyrothgar. All right, here we are, Hyrothgar. And no Lydia. Good. This is really between me and the Greybeards. 
no need for other prying eyes. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. You call me Dragonborn, but what does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Do not be afraid. Your shout will not harm us. All right, very well. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? I wanted to find out what's been happening with me every time I slay a dragon. Why am I absorbing its soul or its power? I want to know what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Oh, well, good. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You mean, I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Well, you've said enough. So, who are you, and what is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. All right then, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But... Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon oh, tongue. Your master Einarth. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ah, look at this. What? You learn a new word like a monster. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Transference of power. Use your unrelenting force shout to.
to strike the targets as they appear. I can barely see the target. Well done. Again. Some sort of ghost. First blow. Wait. It disappeared before I could shout. First blow. I was trying you to make out the features. Thing. Once more. Be someone I know. My insight into the undead. There. Impressive. The Your way I experience death. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Were these projections? Ghosts or something else. All right. Let me curb my enthusiasm and see what else they have in store for me. Dragonborn, so oh, that's what this is all about. I suppose I can use any and all edges for this upcoming war with the vampires. We will now see how you learn a completely new shunt. Master Bori will teach you Wuld, which means whirlwind. Wuld. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. I'm listening. I can hear it. Approach Master World Wind Give Sprint. I can feel the power flowing through me. Now Truly we will amazing. See how quickly you can master a new shot. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate Whirlwind Sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? Rex! Wolf! What? Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your Whirlwind Sprint to pass through before it closes. Amazing. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? I don't know how I do it. It just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Wind. I'll Guide. do as you ask. There's 
still a faint sign of the word here. Hmm. I think it's time for me to pray as well. This is all so overwhelming. Stendar, help me understand. What is becoming of me? I now have new powers. And I want to increase my own abilities. Through prayer. Long last, the ability to place two enchantments on the same item. Thank you, Stendar. Alright, it's time for me to get out of here. The horn of Jurgen Windcaller will have to wait. We do have a growing vampire menace that I need to concern myself with. And to do that, I'm going to need to find the Elder Scrolls. Looks like I need to return to the College of Winterhold. Or at least Winterhold. And from here, the outpost of Septimus Cygnus. I've been looking for you. Uh-oh. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. All right. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. Creepy fella. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. And what exactly is this that I was given? An unsigned letter. We need to speak with you. Come and find us in the frozen hearth in Winterhold. We will be waiting for you. Oh no. Hey. Something else that demands my attention now of all times? All right. I'll just have to take this one step at a time. I've decided to come to the outpost of Septimus Cygnus. Whatever this Midwood Isle business is, it will have to wait. It is time for me to confront this vampire menace head on. Things are starting to get out of hand. Vampires attacking cities. And I've completed my quests for the Dawn Guard. I now have the fabled Rune Axe, along with the Rune Shield. So, I have equipped myself to deal with these vampires, so no one can accuse the Vigilant of being weak. Alright, let me go inside and see what's going on here. You there. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. 
It was and is the maximal apex. I'm here about Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. <laughs> the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it. Not poor Septimus. For I... I have arisen beyond its grasp. Are you all right? Oh, I am well. <laughs> I will you be just well. crowed like a rooster. Well to be within the will inside the walls. Okay. Well, since you insist that you're all right, and I can clearly see that you're not, let's move on to something else. Where is the scroll? Here. Here? Well, here as in this plain. Oh. Mondas. Tamriel. I thought you were going to hand it to me. Relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. Can you help me get the Elder Scroll or not? One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want. But you must bring him something in return. What do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> where is this Black Reach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Oft-hand, the point of puncture, of first entry, of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock, to jump beneath the deathly rock. All right then, how do I get in? Two things I have for you. Two shapes, one edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its Sky Dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. All right, very well. So what do I do with this sphere? The deepest doors of Dwemer listen for singing. It plays the attitude of notes proper for opening. Can you not hear it? Too low for hearings? And what do I do with this cube? To glimpse the world inside an Elder Scroll can damage the eyes or the mind as it has to Septimus. No, I'm glad you realized that. The Dwemer found a loophole as they always do. To focus the knowledge away and inside without harm. Place the lexicon into their contraption and focus the knowings into it. When it brims with glow, bring it back and Septimus can read once more. And what do you want with the Elder Scroll? Ooh, an observant one. How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox, look upon it and wonder. 
Inside is the heart. The heart of a god. The heart of you and me. But it was hidden away. Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone else, uh, unseen, unknown, found the heart, and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all-sight given by an Elder Scroll. All right. Thank you. I'll take my leave now. This sounds like this is going to be quite an adventure to try to get this scroll. I'm going to need some help. I think it's time that I bring in more members of the uh, Vigilant. It's time for them to see some action. <laughs> 